Hello and welcome to Meadweek. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, Dinfo celebrates their 50th, the latest from the Asymmetric Warfare Group, plus some Super Bowl predictions. We'll have these stories and much more this week, but first, one of the largest units on Fort Meade, the Defense Information School, has trained thousands of journalists, broadcasters, and public affairs professionals over the last 50 years. And since turning 50, we've graduated nearly 100,000 troops, uh, DA civilians, international allies, who have served around the world, across the force, and in the fleet in places like Vietnam and Lebanon and Iraq and Afghanistan, um, telling our story, sharing our story with the American people in various audiences regarding their uh, military. Special guest speakers included Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley. Colonel Foley talked about the mission of DINFOS and how public affairs impacts the warfighting mission. Your mission is also to share information between members of our armed services, keeping us connected with each other and connected with the world when we are serving in austere locations. Keeping each of us at every level informed so we can make the best possible decisions and execution of our missions and our daily lives. From decisions impacting national security to simply knowing what is on sale at the local exchange or commissary. Information provided by each of you in this room and your peers around the globe right now is enabling critical decisions being made toward our national defense. Colonel Martin added that this week's ceremony is just the first in a series of events commemorating Dimfos's 50th. Stay tuned to MeTV for more. Meanwhile, the Fort Meade-based Asymmetric Warfare Group held a ribbon-cutting ceremony recently at Fort AP Hill. The AWG's Lieutenant Colonel Sinise Limbaca has more. The U.S. Army Asymmetric Warfare Group hosted a ribbon-cutting ceremony to celebrate the completion of its Asymmetric Warfare Training Center January 24th at Fort A.P. Hill, Virginia. Participants included state and local officials from Virginia, representatives from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and Training and Doctrine Command, and various others who attended to witness the historic event. Construction began on the complex about two years ago. So when you think about the transition that we're going to go through here, is to transition from an army of execution, doing what we've got to do, to an army of preparation to be ready uh, for what comes next. That's where the importance of this facility really comes in. The Asymmetric Warfare Training Center is located on 300 acres and consists of a unique urban complex outfitted with an embassy, bank, underground subway and train station, helicopter landing zone, and other structures that can be transformed into a variety of scenario-driven facilities. Complete with an indoor firing range, a known distant range, and outdoor mobility range, the $96 million state-of-the-art facility provides a location for the AWG to replicate complex operational environments and develop solutions, which include exploring adaptive tactic techniques and procedures. The Asymmetric Warfare Training Center is uniquely suited to support AWG's solution development efforts. This is a place uh, where we can be creative and you can come up with solutions for problems that we don't even know we have yet. From the Asymmetric Warfare Group Public Affairs Office, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Sinise Lombaca. In health and wellness news, Gaffney Fitness Center is offering personal training services. One, six, eight, and twelve session packages are available. One and six session two-person training sessions are also available. The program is open to everyone, all ranks and services, military and civilian. For more information, you can stop by the Gaffney Fitness Center or call 301-677-3716. Meanwhile, it's Super Bowl weekend and the Lanes are hosting a party. We'll have details in a moment. But first, we thought we'd try to get some Super Bowl predictions. Even though our sample size was small, the Broncos are getting a lot of love. The Broncos. Broncos? Yeah. All right, why? Because they got Peyton Manning. So who are you rooting for? The Broncos. How come? Big Peyton Manning fan. Big Peyton Manning fan? Okay, so you got a final score? Um, I'm going to guess like 60 to 40. Broncos. 60, okay. We did find a lonely Seahawks supporter. Uh, honestly, I'm a huge believer in defense, and uh, in my opinion, defense is going to prevail over offense, so I'm, I'm thinking the Seahawks. And then there are these folks. I don't watch the Super Bowl, but the World Cup is coming up, and you know what? Portugal or Spain, I hope they take it this year. So it looks like Peyton Manning and the Broncos are the sentimental favorite, at least locally. You can check out how they did on Sunday at the Lane Super Bowl party. It kicks off at 625 in the lounge. You can enjoy multiple big screens, food and beverage specials, door prizes, and a whole lot more. Until next week, I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at MeTV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week.